Today we're going to talk about using commas with adjectives. So first of all, an adjective is a word that describes a noun. It tells which one, what kind, or how many. So for instance, if we have this bear here, think of some adjectives that you would use to describe that bear. You might say big or brown or ferocious. Those are all adjectives. If you were describing this girl, you might say she's little or she's sad. If you were describing this school, it might be a new school or an exciting school. And if you're describing this apple, you might say it's a red apple or a juicy apple or a delicious apple or a shiny apple. You might even say how many apples, that you have five apples. So those are all adjectives. Now today we're going to talk about coordinate adjectives. Coordinate adjectives are adjectives that are separated by a comma because they describe the noun equally. You can tell if they're describing the noun equally because the adjectives can be written in any order. For instance, if you heard the sentence, the man was a kind, generous person, the two adjectives we're looking at are right in front of the noun they describe, kind, generous. I could have said, the man was a kind, generous person, or I could swap the order of those adjectives and say the man was a generous, kind person. It doesn't matter which order those two adjectives are written in because they're describing the person equally. One adjective is not more important than the other. Let's look at another one. She sits in the old squeaky desk. I could say the old squeaky desk or I could say the squeaky old desk. It makes no difference. Those two adjectives are describing the desk equally. I put a comma between them because they are coordinate. They passed the test. Now, let's say I'm still not sure. There's another test you can also do to see if they're describing the noun equally. So I can swap the order and say the old squeaky desk or the squeaky old desk. I can also try sticking the word and in between the two adjectives to see if that makes sense. She sits in the old and squeaky desk. It makes sense. If it passes those tests, put a comma between the adjectives because they're coordinate. Now, adjectives are not coordinate if they must be in a certain order because that's probably telling you one adjective either takes priority or is more important than the other adjective. For instance, the hot August sun beat down on me. Hot and August are describing the sun. I would not switch the order and say the August hot sun. I would not say the hot and August sun because those adjectives are not describing the sun equally. August is the more important adjective technically. They are not coordinate so I do not put a comma between them and I write it just like this, no comma. Here's an, another example. The bright full moon not coordinate. A full moon is a specific kind of moon. You don't want to move that adjective away from the noun. Full is the more important adjective. You would say it was a bright full moon, but you would not say it was a full bright moon. It doesn't make sense. Those are not coordinate. Don't put a comma. So now I want to test you. Can you tell if the following adjectives are coordinate? Now, I left the commas out on purpose, so you have to decide. I ate the hot, delicious pizza. I'm hoping you're doing the test in your head and switching the adjectives around to say the delicious hot pizza or the hot and delicious pizza. Did it pass those tests? Yes, those are coordinate. They could be written in either order, so put the comma between them. Let's try another one. She lives in a red brick house. Would red and brick be coordinate? Do the test in your head. Those are not coordinate. You could not switch the order, so don't put a comma. Leave it just like it is. For instance, if you said a brick red house, that changes the meaning. Brick red is actually a color in the crayon box. If I said she lives in a brick red house, that totally changes the meaning. It might not even be brick anymore. I cannot change the order of red brick house. Brick is the more important adjective. It needs to stay by house. No comma. 
Try this one. I have a lively, happy puppy. Look at lively and happy and decide, are they coordinate or not? They are coordinate. You could say, I have a happy, lively puppy. You could also say, I have a lively and happy puppy. So put that comma there. What about this one? I have one little sister. And yes, numbers are adjectives. I have one little sister. So look at one little and do the test in your head. Those are not coordinate. Do not put a comma there because you would not switch the order. You would not say, I have little one sister. It doesn't make any sense. So if it does not pass the test, do not put a comma. They're not coordinate. So now when you see adjectives in a sentence like that, when there are two or more adjectives in a row right in front of the noun they're describing, take a look at it and do those tests in your head. So when you are writing this sentence, because I'm sure you would all write this sentence, right? The kind, intelligent teachers taught us well. Don't argue with me. The kind, intelligent teachers taught us well. And I'm hoping you would see those two adjectives, kind and intelligent, and say, oh, those are coordinate adjectives. Kind, comma, intelligent teachers taught us well. And you'll put that comma and you'll make us proud.